after some travels um, in uh, overseas, I came back to my hometown of Montreux, and there was an old man who was retiring, who was a bookbinder slash framer. And I bought that business thinking I was going to get rid of his framing part. And instead of that, two years later, I realized I was a framer and I was not a bookbinder. And I got rid of all the bookbinding equipment and I became a full-time framer. Most people who come here, they have something very special and they want something well done and they trust us to do something uh, significant with their work. Um, and uh, we re I really like the challenge of doing that. I have been in business since 1987. Uh, the first 10 years were in Switzerland, that's where I grew up. Um, and then since 2001, it's been uh, here in East Hampton. Uh, the way the piece is going to look on the wall is very important to the people who come in and uh, the way the piece is protected is also very important so the selection of material is very important. What I like about framing is really the difference you can make with, uh, with choosing the right ingredients um, and, and bringing the best out of an image. Uh, it's, very, it's very gratifying. The, the smallest frames I made was actually for my daughter. It was a fortune cookie. Um, so the frame was about two inch by one inch. Um, and the biggest frame, I actually didn't do it myself. It's 14 feet by 10 feet, and it's uh, standing on a hill, a Park Hill Orchard um, near here, and it was part of uh, the Art in the Orchard exhibition um, last year. Uh, my location is, is very easy to find. I'm the old, in the old town hall in East Hampton, so it's right in the center of town at the intersection of 141 and uh, Route 10. I have uh, been a member of the chamber from day one. It, um, it's always very important for me to be part of the community. I've always tried to be helpful and, and, and I work with the community and I would say that Art in the Orchard is something that I'm, I feel very strongly about. Two weeks before the beginning of Art in the Orchard we went and to look at where the pieces were going to go and he says this is where your frame is going to go and I didn't have a frame because I didn't take him seriously. Oh, really? So I had to scramble and find people who would actually build a frame and it was like a makeshift, it was made of recycled pallets. And... 